Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I've got for you my first impressions of the Zoeva Rose Golden um, brush set. Um, if you watched my last video from my collection all you'll see now, I finally took the plunge and bought these and um, I thought I would film a little get ready with me kind of thing just to test them out and tell you what I think. If you hear any snoring or any speaking or anything it's my son he's lying on my bed just over here he's just fell asleep so fingers crossed he'll stay asleep that's why I thought right okay I'll manage to film it quick for you guys um, and as it's just like a quick kind of makeup I'm doing today because I'm not really doing much apart from but maybe a bit of um, food shopping but that's about it so I thought since like the brushes are a bit more expensive so I to clean and um, I thought, well, I'll do like um, all like drugstore affordable makeup instead of all high end and high end kind of brushes. So, um, before I keep rambling, and my son wakes up, then I'll just jump right into it. Okay, so for primer, I'm using the L'Oreal Nude Magique Blur Blur One. And for a mirror, sorry, I'm not using this, but I'm using the mirror, and it's my Bobbi Brown like, palette, just because it's nice and big and I can see. So I'm um, just going to pop some of this on, because I thought we better doing like a cheaper um, range of makeup rather than um, all high end, because obviously the brushes are a bit more. Um, well, they're not. You know, they're not expensive. As expensive as Mac. And saying that, like Real Techniques, um, the sets are like twenty odd pounds, and sometimes you get three brushes, sometimes you get four. So I thought, well, they're not really that expensive. Sorry. Anyway, the first brush I'm going to use is this one from a foundation, and it's the. 103 Definer Buffer. I've not even touched none of them, so take the packaging off. And just with that, it's like, oh, it was just static. Um, the bristles were all sticking out. Sorry if the, because I'm right in front of my window again. I really need to invest in, um, oh, the foundation I'm using, sorry, is the Bourjois Healthy Mix Foundation. And I'm in the shade 52 for now. Um, yeah, I really need to invest in um, a ring light. Sorry, my son. Um, so just go. I have to put it on the back of my hand, and I'm just going to dab it and see. Hopefully, you can see me um, close enough. So I'm just dabbing this. It's really soft. Yeah, it's not like really, like really tightly well compact because I do have the, um, is it the silk finish one, and that's a lot more, um, denser than this one. This one's a bit got a bit more give to it. It's, it's really nice actually. It's nice if you just want I think like a a light covering. I suppose you could make a full coverage out of the, this as well, but it's really, really soft. Sorry, I hope you can see what I'm doing. And I'm just looking, there's not brush strokes or anything at all. At all, yeah. Not streaks or what you get with like normal I am um, some face brushes I'm just blending it down sorry I'm still not used to my hair because I'm also used to a side fringe because I've had a side fringe I've had the same hairstyle for Goodness knows how long, and 
Um, it was my hairdresser that thought about a change and suggested, especially with the balayage and that, he said it sits better and um, that's so, I thought I'd give it a, give it a bash and see. So I'm just putting this all on and then I'll get a closer look because, because I am blind and I need to see closer up. And I'm really sorry if this is going to be a long video as well. I apologise, we're already almost six minutes in. Right, okay, so I'm just having a quick wiki. And mm, the lighting's really bad, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit. Mm, this is a light coverage foundation anyway, but it looks like I have nothing on in the, there, but I don't know if you but yeah, but there's no, it's blended in really, really nicely and you, you can see that I didn't have to blend a lot at all. I'm really impressed with that because it just looks, just evened up my skin. It's not like patchy anywhere at all, no? And I like it because it's quite soft so that, yeah, it is more for like, um, I think more of a, a sheeter. I hope, I hope I'm, that, that, that's the right way. I should our coverage, but yeah, I'm really impressed with that, that one so far. So that was the 103 Definer Buffer, that one. So that's was like a, a buffer brush for, obviously, for uh, your foundation. And uh, next I'm going to do my brows, let that settle in. And I'm doing the 317 Wing Liner Brush. I'll show you just now. I should have actually maybe taken them all out of the packaging before this started. Looks like this. Just a little angled brush. And I'm actually quite... Oh, I'm sorry. I'm using um, the Freedom Be Free to Make Up um, Duo Brow Powder in Soft Brown. It looks like this. I'm just going to mix the two together, I think. And give that a brush. Um, I've not really tried this much, so it'll be nice to see. It's actually weird because I'm used to the um, Real Techniques um, brush and it's a lot like shorter and thinner, the Real Techniques um, like liner brush. This one's weird because it's like longer and more flexible. I think this is more designed for um, eyeliner, but I thought right, I'll use it for my brows today. Let's see, but I'm actually quite liking it because I've I was actually eyeing up the uh, Mac the um, two six six I think it was because I thought well I need a I need a better liner brush. I need a a few more options. Um, but as you can see, hmm. I know it's like the powder as well, but the brush, yeah, it's um, it's really easy to use. Sorry, I hope you can see my. Um, yeah, I'm really liking it. It's being longer than that as well, because I've, like I say, the other ones I've got are um really quite short and stubby the Real Techniques out of the Bold Metals collection. I've got that one. And I've also got the one that came in our the purple eye set and that's really quite thick and too thick for my eyebrows. So now I'm gonna just use that for um smoking out liner and stuff. Like that. But yeah I'm really quite impressed with this one because it's really easy to use. I'll have to um, try it out with eyeliner but I always put, if I use a brush like this for eyeliner it's normally just um, powder I use. Um, but yeah I'm really impressed with that because it's a really nice, it's really really, a really thin like precise tip on it. So I know my eyebrows, my sisters, my twins. I've got one like arched one and one round one. Oh, they're so annoying. So annoying. Um, but that's it for brows. Sorry, this is supposed to be like a quick video. 
Um, next for concealer, I'm using the Rimmel Wake Me Up Concealer and I'm using the 142 Concealer Buffer Brush, I thought. And it's a little um, one like that. I've got the Silk Finish one, it's like a bigger version of this, like for foundation. That gives you more of a fuller cover full fall coverage. Um, but I thought I'd do a first impressions in these because um, obviously you've gotten more brushes um, so for your, your face so um, I thought I'd get a better, better review from these. This is a really nice brush actually because it's soft, it doesn't tug under your eyes at all and it fits right under just perfectly just for blending that out and it's blended that out already. I'm just sorry I was looking at the finger but that's so soft. I like that. I'm really excited to use my shape tape because I did think about um doing the video both together but I thought oh no because that'll maybe deserve a, a video on its own so and plus I wouldn't be able to use this because I'll be using the sponge that came with the shape tape so but no I really like that it's so soft doesn't tug eye doesn't tug your eye at all and it just blends it in perfectly just doing a little bit around my nose because of this weather oh I can't make up its mind what it's doing one day it's snowing one day it's icy next it's sunny yeah, I'm loving this brush. That's really nice. Just blends that in just within seconds. Yeah, loving that one. That's the 142 concealer brush. Really, really like that. And to set my under eyes, I thought I would use this one. And it's the 114 Lux Face Focus Brush. This one I've seen. Um, People use it for highlight or and for setting their under eyes. That's what I thought I'm going to do. And I've got this. If you see my haul, you'll see seen this. So this is kind of a first impression to this as well. So I'll, I uh, don't know why I was shaking it like that because I'd already took off the sticker to save time. And I've just put it all over the... So I'm just going to put a little bit in the lid. This is the translucent one, so I thought it'd be perfect. This brush is just so, so soft. I'm just dipping it in there and see how we get on with this. I'm excited to see how I got on with the, the powder as well because um, I've never really had a loose. Oh, that's so soft. If I was to sit at night time in, I'd probably fall asleep with, <laughs> with that. So I'm going to tickle my face with it. I'm just going to put some on my nose as well for my, my glasses. It's quite scary to start with that powder. Looks quite a bit. It does make your face quite much. Sorry, I'm not looking much at all to you. Um, and I'm just going to put a little bit on my forehead to take away that shine as well. And a little bit on my chin. Oh, that brush so so soft I love it perfect for under your eyes as well if you're for setting powder because it's just so soft and even around your nose fits perfectly with a little pointy tip bit sorry the foundation <laughs> but no I love that one that's the 114 Lux, Fa Lux Face Focus would be good for highlight even blush maybe I'll maybe try it for the blush yeah because I've got blusher try it for that as well so I'll keep that one here. Um, okay, so next I'll try this one for bronzer because it's not there's not like a, a powdery brush in it, like a big um powder brush. So I thought I'll use this one because people will use this for um contour. This is the face paint vegan brush. Um but since I've not got um just try to get the packaging off. 
since I've not got a, like, the, um, it should really have the Lux, Luxier cheek brush or something. I thought that would be good, like a good um, to involve in this kit. But I do like this brush as well, the look of this, especially for contour. Uh, but I'm going to just try it for bronzer today, so wish me luck. So, um, the bronzer I'm using is the Makeup Revolution. Ultra, oh, Ultra Sculpt and Contour Kit. So this is a contour kit, but I've always used it as a bronzer. Bronze, the highlight and the blush. And this one's in uh, Ultra Fair. So, hmm, let's... <laughs> let's give it a bash and see. So this is... I didn't actually realise it was a sculpting um, kit, that one. Oh me, this got to be a long video. No, I'll just try it and see. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's really soft as well. Just adding, adding product, adding. Would be good really for defining, yeah, your cheeks, but I'm not exactly the world's best at contour. But it would, I would say it would be really good. I'm sorry but this light is really um, probably washing me out here. So if you've got any good suggestions for um, a ring light then please let me know because I'd like to be able to, uh, for you to see me properly without getting washed out with, with too much um, natural lighting because on the you find her Looks like I've had anything, but obviously in the mirror, I can see so much better what I've done. So this is a long get ready with me, first impressions. But I've got, I really have to try this one properly for proper contouring and give you my thoughts because it's a really nice brush. I'm saying that about them all, sorry. They are all really nice. Already I'm just chuffed to bits. Especially with the foundation. How that's went on. And obviously the concealer. Well everything do they? And my eyebrows. Perfect. Perfect um if you've got thinner brows like me, then um they're perfect. <laughs> Oh, sorry, <laughs> sidetracked. Um, I've got to use the this one again for the the face focus for the blusher. Just the same same palette I'm using again. Well, that's quite good for a blush as well because it fits perfect on the apples of your cheek. So mm, yeah, that's nice. If you didn't have like another brush with you, and you and you only add this one then yeah, I think that's perfect. Yeah. Don't know if you can see my but no. Yeah, another one. And for my highlight, I'm going to use this one and it's the 129 Lux Fan Brush. Ooh. Excited because I only have the Real Techniques one again as well. So I've never tried I never really knew what worked for before I started using highlighter, so just with the packaging, it's really nice, really nice big fan. So same same palette again. Dust that in the highlight. It's really really like really light on your skin as well. I'm not even sure if you'll see that highlighter. Hopefully. I really like that. For the price as well, because I think this was only like 2 99 <laughs> And you've got your bronzer, highlight and brush, eh, blush in it, sorry. Mm. 
well. It really like distributes the product well as well because you can maybe see that a bit better. The glow because it's quite big. Um, the brush like you maybe just need to dip the tip in because I think I've maybe went a bit OTT <laughs> with the um, highlight. But no. Right, and last but not least, I've got two brushes, sorry, and she knows that's bad. I am um, and I thought just because it's a quick idea, so I'll just I'll just only really need the two brushes. The two brushes that come are the smoky shader. It's like a flat one. I've not got much brushes like that. And this one is the Lux Crease brush. That's the 228. I think that's maybe with the one I've got already. I'm just going to have a quick spy. All my brushes are dirty. The one I've got already, oh no, it's the 227. It's the Lux Soft Definer brush I've got. And that's in the rose gold with the pinky handle, so it's dirty. So yeah, that's a, so that's a different one. And this one I say, I don't even have much brushes like this, the flat ones. So we'll give them a bash. And the palette I'm just using is the I Heart Makeup Death by Chocolate. It's supposed to be the fake um, Too Faced one. So I'm going to go in with this first. Big shade here. Big shade here. And pop that on with the flat brush. Um, all over just for a base. We'll see how it packs on the colour when I put on colour. This is just like for the uh, giving my eyes a base. Because I don't actually have a drugstore eyeshadow primer. As I was looking I've only got NARS and like MAC paint pots. I thought well that's not exactly drugstore. Um, I think I'm going to just go in with this like shimmery kind of shade here. We'll pop that on. I'll just turn over the the brush. I've mixed it in with this this one here and this one here. I'll just mix them together. It's not really a nice brush actually because like I say I haven't got much like this and I was needing a brush like this. And that really packs on the colour, you know, I'm just building it up a little bit. This is the kind of brush I was needing anyway. Wow. Well, I don't know if you can see that or not. <laughs> but it's packed up on really nice. And then I'm just going to take this one, the Lux Crease, and dip it into... Is that brown there? Yeah, this brownie shade here just for my crease and see how this one compares to the other one because the other one's like a fake um not a fake but like a, a dupe for the um 217 by mac um and really i think this set for anyone starting off with like a brush set that hasn't got any brush at all yeah there's the real techniques but if you want something really nice um, and obviously if you're going to look after them, and this is a great brush for someone that's just starting out um, with brushes because um, it's a price really. Because if you think of um, MAC, I really love that. If you think of the price of MAC brushes, they're like 20, some of them's 24, 25 pounds a go. Um, and I was looking at the 244. And that was twenty three fifty. I was like, well, I'm getting a whole set, and I got it for sixty four pounds or sixty three because I had the fifteen percent off. And it's like, well, that would be not even three brushes from Mac, and with this, you're getting eight. So I'm just using this brush again, sorry, to pop some of that color under my eye. The um two that I put on my 
I am thinking on the brown, so I'm just popping that in the upper corner bit. I'm going to blend it out with. I'm not sure if you can see that. I think this light's just wash them out far too much. But I know that's so soft and that would be like a great like blending brush for your transition colours. So overall I think already I can say I highly recommend this brush set. Um, and I will be buying, once um, I've saved a bit, I will be buying the um, eye set. I really wanted the, to go for the black and the rose gold ones um, for the eye set because I don't know why they haven't got the whole set of this. But I have noticed, actually, sorry, they've got the, it comes in the Zoe bag, the whole set, but that was £200. I did consider getting that because that's every brush Zoeva does. Zoeva, Zoeva. And I thought, well, hmm, because that's the makeup artist like set. Um, but then I suppose if you were starting off freelancing or um, anything like that, then it would be a perfect set to get. Because look, imagine using them on your clients. Sorry, this video is like extremely long, it's 26 minutes. Loving it. Loving this brushes. Highly recommending them. Really, really are. Especially if you've, you've never really had brushes and you're going from nothing to brushes. Or even if you just want to upgrade your brushes like I kind of am because most of my brushes are real techniques. Um, I've got one matte brush. And like I say, I've got two of these, um, two um, Zoeva brushes, and but yeah, I'm definitely, definitely converted. Oh, I'm mad that you can't really see my eyes because of that stupid. Um, and if I had more time, and didn't yap so much, then I would use the liner brush to do a little bit of black along my um, lash line. But no, loving them. This one so soft the 228 and this one for packing on the color the 234 absolutely brilliant brushes and i'm honestly i'll be chuffed to get the eye set just to get backups as well so that i'll have can uh, have one clean one one dirty one and just to finish off my makeup sorry i'll just do my mascara and i'm using the maybelline the falsies push-up drama and I've not been speaking too much, sorry, I've been looking at the mirror. But yeah, I highly recommend black brushes. I'm just chuffed to bits. And it's not as though I've been taking my time doing my makeup really either. Because I would normally sit, I could I could easily sit like an hour and do uh, my makeup. Much to my husband's um, delight. He's always shouting um, upstairs to me, are you ready? But no, I'm just so chuffed because it's made my foundation look so flawless. Oh, poking myself in my eye as well. So I'm just, just give you a little, sorry I was looking at the viewfinder, a little, um, a little like close up kind of of me. Just excuse me. But it does, it looks like I've nothing on in there, but here I've obviously you can do my full face. I'm just so chuffed. Skin looks so flawless. And yeah. Chuffed to bits. Highly, highly recommend that brushes. And keep your eyes peeled because soon you'll see me in a maybe another haul with the eye set. Hopefully. <laughs> it's coming up from my anniversary soon, so my husband should maybe um, treat me to um, the full eye set, hopefully. <laughs> but anyway, but thanks guys. Any questions at all about any of the brushes, then please just give me a comment below. And I'm really sorry that this is a long video. Hopefully, um, you're still here to the end. But um, 